Hi there. Thank you for joining me again for joy. We're in week six now, and I pray that you are rejoicing in the Christ confidence that's yours. Always. Just as in anything that's alive and flourishing, we are meant to grow. To grow continually, learning from the past, but looking ahead, imitating those who imitate Christ, being transformed, moving toward maturity. And yeah, that maturity looks better some days than others, but we're learning, right? Learning every step of the way, even as we gaze heavenward to the place of our real citizenship. There is most definitely joy in growth. And even in the growing pains, which sometimes come right along with it, joy in growth. Recently, I received a real growth shot in the arm, and yes, it included some humbling growing pains too. My community was hit with a natural disaster and a lot of homes and farms were damaged or destroyed. Well, the churches in our small city came together to provide a place where victims could receive supplies for living, supplies for cleanup, for rebuilding or repair. And immediately after the disaster hit, I was contacted by Concordia Gospel Outreach, already with an offer to provide Bibles. Bibles for families devastated by this disaster. Of course, I was thrilled to accept the generous donation on behalf of my community. The Bibles arrived, but I was detained from delivering them due to some miscommunication and especially because of a necessary move from a church to an empty storefront. You see, more space was needed to accommodate the quantities of donations that were pouring in from all over the country. As volunteers readied the collections of supplies for the influx of disaster victims and families, I was finally able to deliver the Bibles and I was a little frustrated with the timing, frankly but I wish you could have been there with me. When I arrived and I told the volunteer worker what I'd brought with me, she immediately burst into tears. And then she explained. With most of the donations in place, that morning on her way to the, to the center, it had troubled her that they were missing the one thing she knew that people needed the most. And she lifted it to God in prayer. She told us exactly what she prayed. She said, please, Lord, let someone bring Bibles. Her prayer was answered just hours after she lifted it when I walked through the door with her. And she then pointed out to me, God had everything in process for days already. But he answered it for her in his timing. Yes, when the disaster center was ready, but especially so that she would be encouraged and emboldened in her faith. He hears, he delivers in his timing. And sometimes he uses even frustrated delivery people like me who was humbled in the process. Yeah, I'd been thinking only of the detainment that I'd faced. My daughter was there with me, my daughter Courtney. She listened to this dear volunteer and she embraced her affirming her and sharing in the joy and excitement of the moment as we all witnessed evidence of God at work. The example of, of this woman's faith that served to mature my own. Hers is a faith that I am now seeking to imitate with God's help. Paul said this in the second half of Philippians chapter 3. In verse 17, he said, Brothers, join in imitating me and keep your eyes on those who walk according to the example you have in us. We imitate those who imitate Christ by his work in us. I want to say that again, by his work in us. Remember earlier words from Paul's letter? From chapter one, he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. From chapter two, for it is God who works in you, both to will and to work for his good pleasure. You and I, we are works in progress. God working in us, learning from our past immaturity, impatience, mistakes, but not dwelling on them, bringing them to the Lord who forgives. In Jesus' strength, we press on, like Paul did, straining forward, moving, growing, not standing still in our faith walk. Growth is both daily 
and lifelong, alive, flourishing. Yes, we're always on the move in our walk or run, trusting he's giving us everything we need. And what we need can be found in his word. In my previous video, I talked about the need to be immersed in God's word for continual reminders of the truth when we are bombarded or enticed by lies. We need his word for protection and direction. We go to his word for growth too, for wisdom and knowledge, discernment and strength. The spirit works miraculously through the word to instill our faith, to grow our faith, to teach us and to transform us continually into the image of Christ with his attitude, with his attributes, as we talked about in an earlier video too. And because of his work in us, we can stand firm, strong in the faith with our mind on heavenly things, even in our sufferings, and especially as we wait for Jesus' return in the final resurrection. Makes me feel like jumping for joy. How about you? So let me ask you, in what ways are you pursuing growth in your faith walk now with God's help? Pray about it, talk about it, share. On my next video in this series, we're going to get up close and personal as we talk about anxiety, as we talk about our inner thoughts and our outward expression. Is it really possible to possess joy inside and out? Let's talk about what God has to say to us here. I'll see you soon, sisters in Christ. Rejoice every day.